No Hijab Day fights the whitewashing of religious veiling. February 1st marks No Hijab Day, which aims to raise awareness about the millions of women who are not able to choose to remove the religiously mandated garment. The day was intentionally set on the same day as World Hijab Day, which was created to promote and spread acceptance of religious veiling in society. According to reformist Muslims Asra Nomani and Majid Nawaz, World Hijab Day is a conservative campaign that feeds the idea that hijabs are always worn voluntarily. Uh, Asi uh, <laughs> Masi Alinejad, an Iranian-American journalist, sees the purpose behind No Hijab Day as personal. In a video she posted to Twitter, she says, quote, In Iran, I was told if I take off my hijab, I will be hanged by God. Yasmin Mohammed, a Canadian human rights activist, shared that she was forced to wear the hijab from, age of, from the age of nine and threatened with death if she removed it. She acknowledged that most Muslim women simply cannot speak out against it without facing dangerous, if not life-threatening, consequences. On February 1st, you can show your support for those who fight for the freedom to remove hijab by posting on social media about the campaign and using the hashtag, hashtag, no hijab day. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. Um, was this started by Yasmin Muhammad? This movement, this whole movement. Um, was I think her and and a few other people. Yeah, but she is one of the most prominent people behind it for cer for certain. That's fantastic. I like this image that she posted. Yes. And so, it, if you want to support No Hijab Day, one of the symbols that they use is a dove with the scarf. Nice, nice. Um, just to be clear, no hijab day means the freedom to have no hijab, right? It's not promoting the idea that it's not like forced. It's not saying that you shouldn't have. I mean, we are anti-hijab because hijab is modesty culture, right? And modesty culture is rape culture. Um, we are against it. But what we're, what I think what we're promoting here is for you people to be, again, here, here's another hashtag, free from hijab, right? So it's not like, the idea of like forced not to wear the hijab obviously we're not doing that we're just basically people should be able to free to be be able to be free from wearing a hijab as soon as it's not here is this our dolly so when she comes back i want to figure this out is this our dolly dolly are you here in the live chat is this our dolly because she did she got like 690 likes that's amazing okay let me see if what's when susanna comes Let's watch this video while we wait for Susanna. Tell me if this you is what to... Islamic Republic wants me to be. This is what Taliban and ISIS want us to be. And this is my true self. In Iran, I was told if I take off my hijab, I will be hanged with my hair by God. I'll get kicked out from school. I'll get lashes. I'll get jailed. I'll get fined. I get beaten up in the street every day by morality police. If I get raped, it's my fault. If I take off my hijab, I won't be able to exist as a woman in my homeland. In the West, I am told if I share my stories, then I will cause Islamophobia. I am a woman from the Middle East and I am scared of Islamic laws. I am scared of all the brutalities that I have experienced. Phobia is an irrational fear, but my fear and the fear of millions of other women who lived under Sharia law in the Middle East is rational. So let us talk. Oh, okay, that's fantastic. Answer that's your question. Yes, that is our dolly. This is dolly. Is this in Arabic or in English? It's in English. She got like almost 10,000 views on this. This is amazing. Okay, so let's watch uh, our own Dolly's video as well. Guys, Dolly is like the moderator and the host and the manager and everything of our of Atheist Republic's uh, YouTube's Arabic channel, uh, which is called Jumhuriyat al Had. So if you, if anybody who speaks Arabic want to search for that, right? And oh, we should have provided a link in the description. We're gonna have to add those links eventually. Um, it is on our homepage of our YouTube channel on the recommended channel section, so you could find that as well. And let's see what Dolly has to say. A rape culture. I'm taking off and I'm saying that's enough. My body is not aura. My voice is not aura. 
my hair is not ours to cover it up. And if a man told you before Islam honored you as a woman by cover you up, just tell him maybe Islam will honor you as a man in the next time, but you cover up this time. No hijab day because hijab is a rape culture and I never choose to wear it. It's not a choice, will never be a choice. Take it off, be free, be who you are. Wow, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was that's making the rounds on Twitter. I was like, look at you, girl. Yes. <laughs> that's that's our dolly. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, um, this is the name of the Arabic channel for anybody who wants to search for it. Jumhuria. Jumhuria. Okay, my Arabic is not very good. Jumhuria al Hadia. Hadia. Al Ha. No, it's, it's Arabic. I, I can't say H. I have to say Hadia. Hadia. Okay, so <laughs> I've said properly. <laughs> you sound like me when I try to speak Farsi. Like, it just get like. <laughs> no, I, the Arabic language has different kinds of H sounds. Okay, so it can't be. There's the normal H, and then there's. <sighs> Okay, so it's very, it's so bizarre. <laughs> All right, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's our Dali, fantastic. Okay, I'm so Yes, proud. so guys, today is the 29th. Uh, so in two days, wait, three days, <laughs> uh, it will be February 1st, and that is officially no hijab day. So I would encourage people to share their support for the movement on, um, uh, Twitter, Facebook, social medias, wherever, where you it, hashtag no hijab day, hashtag free from a job, um, and uh, show your support. I, it definitely means a lot to the women who had to fight really hard to be able to choose what um, they wear. And uh, yeah. And one, one motto of the movement that I really like, that it's like, I support your freedom to wear it as long as you support my freedom to remove it. Um, and I think that really encapsulates a lot of the attitude because it's about choice. Yes, yes. Um, Hindutva is saying, but the forced converts of India say that hijab is our culture and we are proud of it. Okay, so when people say hijab is forced, um, I mean, there are some forms, there are some people who wear the hijab by choice, but most of it is forced, even if they say it's by choice, if it's brainwashed since childhood, that's technically a form of force, right? I mean, there are, but there are rare cases where somebody is a adult convert to Islam uh, and they're choosing it as an adult. In those rare cases, then hijab is actually a choice, right? But if you, if you grew up, if you were brainwashed as a child into the hijab, then technically it's not by choice, right? Um, but but I'm against the hijab even in cases where, rare cases where it's by choice, right? Because even in the cases that hijab is chosen, like as an adult and was not brain, you were not brainwashed as a child, even in those cases, what hijab represents is modesty culture and modesty culture is rape culture. So. I'm still against it, even if it's by choice. However, well, when I say I'm against it, I mean I don't mean I'm 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 for, I'm for your freedom to be able to wear it while being against it at the same time. In the same way that, you know, like I am for someone's freedom to be able to wear the KKK costume while I'm against against the KKK costume at the same time. So those are not mutually exclusive. But what you were saying. Yeah, I think even uh, adults who choose to wear it themselves, I think in the, the idea of wearing hijab as choice in general is um, almost not reality because it is religiously prescribed. It is a religious obligation. There are severe punishments. I mean, if you believe in that belief system of eternal torture for failures to do it properly. And um, so how, how do you, if you believe in that system, how do you have a choice? Um, yeah, that's uh, another good point. If you believe that you're going to go burn for it, if you don't wear it, technically, technically it's not really a choice. 
Um, but what I do find really interesting is there are a lot of women who wear the hijab as a symbol of um, political and cultural identity. And that's very different. And I do think that is, um, I, I disagree with it because I still don't like the symbolism behind it. I think there is a lot more choice involved with that. There are Muslim women who didn't wear it before, but because of persecution of their Muslim identity, they chose to wear it in defiance, um, which is there interesting. Are some, there are some forms of hijab that I actually support even, and that's a form of hijab that is meant to be um, fighting stereotypes, right? Like you're actually not wearing the hijab to confirm, but you're wearing the hijab as a way to oppose kind of the hijab, right? Like, for example, when you have, when people wear the hijab in a way that is, that is meant to be controversial. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're not, you can see that I've they're seen not fitting. hijabis in latex cat suits, like that kind exactly. of thing. Exactly, that kind of thing, right? <laughs> so that's technically hijab, but that's not really giving into the modesty culture. You're actually like rocking the boat. You're actually are rebelling against the hijab well, you're wearing, wearing a the headscarf hijab. but it's not hijab <laughs> i mean they want they, they still call it the hijab as a way to rebel you know what i mean or like we recently covered the news where men were wearing the hijab as a fashion statement right that pisses a lot of people off and we like that <laughs> right so if it, if you are like taking the hijab and rebranding it and turning it on its on its head and taking turn it into a form of rebellion and not only not giving into the modesty, modesty culture, but fighting against the modesty culture while doing it. That's a very rare case use of hijab that I'm like, I'm in complete support of. Right. So that's the only, the only one. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.